Well, good day, guys. Here's a video that everyone has been excited for, waiting for patiently, and we are now two days away from State of Origin Game 2. In this video, I'm going to be getting into the team lineup for both the Blues and the Maroons going into Game 2 and speaking about my tip for this game. Queensland lead the Origin Series this year after a win in uh, New South Wales, a victory away from home. Uh, the Blues are considered home uh, at this game at Optus Stadium in Perth, back to Perth for Origin. This game is at 7.50 on Sunday night. The New South Wales Blues are $1.65 and the Queensland Maroons are $2.25. Um, great odds for both teams uh, and it is quite an even matchup. Well, let's get into this side. So Tarek Sims is out for the New South Wales Blues, and so is Ryan Madison, who made his debut off the bench. Right, Regan Campbell-Gillard has also been dropped from the New South Wales team. Katoni Staggs from the centres dropped. He is carrying an injury, I believe, though. And Jack Whiten, obviously due to having COVID last week, is unable to play. So what does this mean for the centres? So Stephen Crichton, who played a bit of centre towards the end of the game, will start at centre in jersey number four from the Penrith Panthers. And Matt Burton gets his origin debut. We were calling for it uh, last year at the Penrith Panthers. That centre position was his. He's having some great form at the Bulldogs in the number six jersey. So really looking forward to him in an origin jersey. Uh, on the bench for the Blues, you've got you've uh, sorry, you've got Damian Cook, who's dropped to the bench in jersey 14, which means Appy Coruscant at this point in time is the starting hooker. A lot of people think this could change before kickoff. I don't think it will. I think it's undeserved for Cookie to be dropped. But anyway. Angus Crichton in jersey 15, number 16, Junior Paulo, pa Paolo, and number 17, Sia Sifa Talakai. Now, Talakai on the bench for me, I thought Talakai was going to be a starting centre, and I still think that Talakai is a huge chance of coming in for Stephen Crichton, and Crichton once again coming off the bench. We will wait and see what Freddie's game is. I feel like there will be a change to this side going into kickoff. I just have a feeling that there will be a change, but... Uh, again, you've got lots of quality in James Tedesco, an experienced origin player. Uh, Nathan Cleary, um, you've got Payne Haas, you've got Cameron Murray in the back row. And Isaiah Yo, who had a quiet game one, should be up for a big game two. And that is the Blues team. Before we move into the mighty Maroons, let's have a look at the Maroons. Ruben Cotter is out after being injured in a warm-up against the Sea Eagle and being ruled out of that game late last round. And Xavier Coates also looks to be out after facing an origin injury. And what does this mean for the side? Now, the first one I want to speak about, Corey Oates in jersey number 21. I don't know what he's done wrong um, to miss out on starting. Honestly, I think he's been in some fantastic form this year. Selwyn Cobbo was fantastic in game one, so you probably give him that spot. And the replacement winger that we've gone with is Murray Talangi, who's been great with the Cowboys. But I just think Corey Oates, this is his opportunity um, he's had a great season. I feel like he should be starting. Reese Walsh has been named as a reserve in jersey number 22. Um, I forgot to speak about the Blues reserves as well, but there was Hines, Sawali once again. McLean has been added. Gutherson and Radley. Um, eyes for the bench for the Maroons. Jeremiah Nane, Patrick Carrigan. Jai Arrow returns to the side after missing game one. Harry Grant in jersey number 14. Kirk Capewell in the back row. Uh, besides that, you've got Lindsay Collins coming in at prop. Uh, and you've got, I mentioned Murray Talangi coming into the side. Yeah, Queensland, um, a 1 0 victory, uh, a good win, a good grind out win against New South Wales. I felt like we were quite dominant um, for that game, so really, really impressed with the side. In game one, I was really impressed with Kalen Ponga as well. He's a silent achiever for mine. Um, he hasn't had the best season, and the Newcastle Knights obviously struggling since um, probably round two. And look, I thought he was really good. Cameron Munster um, was outstanding. Jack Whiten was good in game one for a little game one review. But very different game here. Um, neutral ground, neither team favourites. Very, very quality sides. Um, if Queensland win, the series is over. And I'll be heading to uh, kind of a nothing game three. So obviously I want this to be a decider. Um, but based on this team, I am going to tip the Queensland Maroons by 10. Yes, I think the Maroons can get the job done here. I hope I'm wrong because I would like to see a decider. 
Um, I think that the Maroons are, are going to hang in there and I think they're going to get the victory and eventually score enough points to get over the top of the Blues. Once again, I think... See, Jack Whiten scored the first try in Game 1. I think Maroons will score first. I do. I think Maroons will score first. But I think at some point, there might be a bit of a lead. I think maybe the Blues might score, not score in the second half. I don't know. But I'm going to say Queensland by 10. I'm going to go with a scoreline of 22 points to 12. I think that the Maroons can get the job done. Cameron Munster, another great game from him. Um, I was looking at... Sports bet earlier, Cameron Munster is $5.50 to be man of the match. Nathan Cleary, who had a really quiet game one, he's $5. But you know what? I'm going to chuck Kalen Ponga. I thought he had a really good game. He can get some try assists. If he gets a bit of kicking game in there, scores a try, I'm going to go Kalen Ponga at $15 as my Maroons man of the match. And look, I picked him as man of the series. Valentine Holmes is paying $31 to be man of the match. So that's some absolutely outrageous odds there the other one i'm going to chuck in there look if new south wales win i think it will probably be on the back of james tedesco i think some of his work um in the back line carrying in game one obviously he didn't get the victory but very impressive he's at seven dollar odds so i like james tedesco to be man of the match if the blues win but yeah my new scoreline of 22 points to 12 i'm going to tip the queensland maroons to win the series 2 2 nil. at this point don't know who i'm going to tip Going into Suncorp in Game 3, I hope I'm wrong. I want a decider. I want to go up there to a decider. It'll be absolutely awesome. A sold-out, pretty much, Suncorp Stadium. But I think that the Maroons have a little bit of firepower in them, a little bit of points in them. And for the first try scorer for the game, I'm just looking at the odds now for him as well. He is $11.50. I'm going to go with the Queensland winger making his debut in Murray Talangi. I believe he will be on the left wing. Xavier Coates previously there. And uh, Selwyn Cobbo is on the right wing. Selwyn Cobbo, 10.50. So I'll go Murray Talangi. And as for the try scorers from... I'm going to go with Angus Crichton to score a try at any time. Angus Crichton is $5.10. So Angus Crichton to score a try at any time. First try scorer, Murray Talangi. And I am going to go with the Maroons to win this game by 10. Anyway, guys, that is going to be my origin tip. So once again, Kalen Ponga is my pick for the man of the match. Murray Talangi, first try scorer, Angus Crichton at any time. And the Queensland Maroons to win this game, 22 points to 12. Make sure you like and subscribe to this, subscribe to this video. I'll be doing a little bit of an NRL ladder prediction video that will be coming out soon. I know it's been a quiet week for the most part. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later.